it's so peaceful out here. It's like I'm the only one to so it's nice. I don't know where to look. What use this camera? Made it to Onshi Hakone Park. Onshi Hakone Park. Here we go. I don't even know what I'm to expect. Toilet. Nice. We love toilets. Let's go up this way. I'll follow this group of tourists. They're on like a tour group, so they probably know all the good spots. So we are here. The park is there. Use of Mount Fuji. That's where I had the food and then got yelled at. Um, that's where I entered from the pirate ship. And then the cobblestone path that we're looking for is more down this way. Okay, let's keep going. Hard course, there are many steps ahead. Lakeside Road, I kind of like the warning. It makes it more adventurous. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. The sun is setting though. I don't have much snacks because I ate them all. <laughs> oh, we should be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Right guys? Being in a forest in Japan. Looking so beautiful. Signs that I can't read. <laughs> Probably some sort of warnings. Ground the flowers. Hello, Mr. Owl. You probably hear me out of breath. Do I go down that way? That would only lead to the water. If you guys want to see like a POV of me hiking, so it's like you're hiking with me, or should I just do clips of like scenic parts? I'm not sure. I could put it in 0.5 mode as well, so it's like you're experiencing it, like you're me. I'll walk. So you can see my hands, so it's like you're seeing yourself. Got my feet, or our feet, our breath. And then we'll hold our breath if someone walks past us so they don't know we're out of breath. I always do that, I don't know why. I guess I'm embarrassed. There's to be. That's a big animal in there. Unless it's a human. They don't have bears in Japan, do they? Because it sounds like human footsteps. Like, why would there be a human in there? <laughs> I'll just keep strolling. I just realized um, I don't have any of my like normal hiking gear with me, like bear spray and like protection because you can't get that through TSA. So I'm just doing it raw in nature, you know? No protection. Oh, there's like a RV boat, like a trailer boat. Wait, what? Grounds of Lakeside. Oh, so peaceful. Is that not like a trailer boat that I'm looking at right here? Someone totally lives on that. It has like curtains and it's like 
literally the same shape as an RV. See that? <laughs> I wish I had like a side angle. That would be a vibe though. To live on a boat. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, let's continue. Little spooky. Should I do ASMR? I guess this isn't the ASMR channel, so you guys probably want my regular voice. My little soft spoken. Uh, things are starting to look up. I like this whole YouTube thing, it's kind of fun. Oh, I just realized since I have the mic clipped to my jacket, it might be making like Jacket sounds every time I move. Uh oh. Okay. So now I'm holding the mic. So maybe the audio is a little bit better. Okay, some sort of sign once again. Oh, I miss hiking. I used to hike every single day when I lived in the car. But now since I've been in Japan, on the cruise ship, it hasn't been that much hiking, not much sweating. I've been doing a lot of walking, but it's not the same as, you know, going up a mountain with the steps and the views. Wow, lots of stairs. of the birds. So peaceful. I'm surprised there's no one on this trail. Be, uh, be honest, if you had to walk up these steps, <laughs> would you have taken a break by now? <sighs> We're almost there. JK, there's more steps. <laughs> but there's a viewpoint, so we can enjoy the view and definitely not take this as a sign to catch my breath. Oh, beautiful. Tonohana. The ground of Tonohana. There we are. Oh, we got a lot to cover. This is a big hike. So we started by the Hill of Flowers down there. And now we're here. And that's Lake Ashinoko. And we have to go all the way around through the resting area, past the palmade, up another stairway. Then we have to cross a bridge, and then we go that way, <laughs> and then we find a cobblestone path in the forest. The sun is setting. <laughs> eh, I'm sure we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh-oh. Which way do I go? There's multiple paths. So we're there, so we want to go that way so we could see the viewpoints riding ground trays yeah let's do that i love adventures and the thing is i didn't even plan on being here i just saw i saw it walking past um and i was like sure i'll go here yeah and this was not a part of the original plan most of the time wherever I end up is not a part of the plan I just see people go there or I see a sign and I'm just like ooh that sounds cool and then I do it so remember to enjoy the journey and not just the destination because I think you could enjoy more in a sense if you're not 
bound by the schedule, time, um, and just like being on a rush. Because as someone who grew up in like a hostile environment, it was like you couldn't even enjoy like a vacation or an outing because everyone was in a rush, yelling, stressed, fighting. Um, it was never a good experience. So, I think that's partly why I'm so chill and laid back. Because I enjoy the peace, you know? Because at the end of the day, being late to something or just being behind on schedule, it's not the end of the world. There's no need to get super angry about it. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion, though. I think too many... Ooh! Too many people get so easily angered by very little things. And I'm not trying to discount people's, like, emotions. I just think most people, or a lot of people, don't know how to regulate their emotions. And they go just, like, haywire. And it always defaults to anger since they can't process their emotions or their actions and they take it on or take it out on others around them and then to counter the point of the comments that are probably saying Ryan you're just projecting please <laughs> get a grip um, I don't think I'm projecting I'm just making a very um, analytical observation of patterns in humans based on the world around me. Oh, duck. Shoop, doop, 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 doop. So beautiful. Oh, do you know what's going to be a good shot? It passes the shrine. See, I actually was supposed to be on this boat. <laughs> Fun fact. But I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get off at this stop. Because I know where this goes. This goes where I need to be going. Um, like, towards where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. But I was like, I will get off here and just figure out the rest. Because <laughs> I haven't been to this part. But let us, let us just watch it go by. Oh, and then probably to counter the comments um, of like, oh, how did you learn how to not be angry all the time? It's honestly time and reflection. I think a lot of us could heal and become better people if we just had time to reflect and to think. Because we need more people to do that. I think the way this world is in society, it's very fast and it's very, do you know what a good, here, I'll give an analogy, I think it's called, It life is like a river, a flowing river, you know, and it is, has lots of ripples and whirlpools and it's chaotic, you know. The flow of life. And most of us, we are just brought into this world and thrown into that river. And oftentimes it's like we're struggling to keep our head above the water, you know. We're just fighting to survive. Um, and we never have time to like, I guess, uh, what's the best word? Oh wow, speaking of the river, a lot of water sounds. Um, we never have time to learn anything else besides um, the bare minimum of what we could obtain while struggling. But if you just, I guess, learn how to float or somehow get your footing in, find, I don't know, a shallow part of that river and just hold your ground just for a little bit. Um, you could take that time to learn how to swim so you're not being taken by the current and struggling to 
get air, if that makes sense. Because when you eventually get your footing, your grounding, life becomes easier, I would say. Um, you don't feel like you're just going through the motions. It's like you actually have some sort of sense of control now. Um, I don't know if that made any sense. I'm not really good with words. But that's what it feels like. It feels like I know how to swim now. I know how to breathe. I know how to exhale. And it feels like I'm in that water, that river, just, you know, doing backstrokes and floating and just like enjoying life in the water and just the scenery. And then there's those around me just struggling to, um, to stay above water, splashing and um, just aggressively trying to swim, you know, just flapping their hands around and doing it in a very angry way. I know I upset a lot of people by just existing um, and they see my lifestyle and it's it invokes anger um, when it shouldn't be because I truly think I do a good job of living my life where it's not like hurting people hurting others maliciously um, and that doesn't mean I'm not oh the stairs I'm not allowed to like criticize things because we live in a period where uh, this world is messed up humans have messed up severely and it's either you're aware of it and you acknowledge it or you live in the state of delusion and pretend all the bad doesn't exist and then when you do speak out on the injustices or give ideas of how to make the world better to ease the suffering of others people most people tend to come at you very aggressively and say you're so ungrateful how dare you say those things blah 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 but they always forget to realize the world hasn't always been like this you know each century is drastically different um and through time, we could prosper, you know? We could get to a place of more peace and harmony where people don't have to live in fear and struggle. Like right now, I think this century is pretty important since we have the information, the technology and resources so no one has to go hungry or suffer or, um, Oh my gosh, there's more stairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we have all those things. Um, but... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm just looking at how much stairs we have to go up. But yeah, we have all the resources to end world hunger. So no one has to suffer. But due to how the system has been made, um, corporations don't want to lose money. Governments, uh, politicians, they rather let everything go to waste in landfill um, than help others. Because if they were to do that, um, they necessarily wouldn't even lose money. It's just... I don't even know what it is. <laughs> just greed, selfishness, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah, this world's kind of messed up. Let's be real, guys. Real talk. That's why I'm on my own. I don't like to participate in the reality that everyone lives in. Um, I will do my best to help it, but I will not... I guess be encompassed by it, consumed by it. Um, so I just built my own little world. And I know some people might say that's selfish, but like when you try your best to help those around you <laughs> for your entire life of like 20 years, and it's always just re 
uh, responded with aggression and hostility, no matter what. Um, it breaks you, I would say. Um, and if I was supposed, to, if I was going to continue on that path of trying to be, I guess, in the heart of society, it would have killed me. And it does kill lots of people. Um, because, you know, a lot of people can't handle the cruelty of this reality as a whole, so they find ways to numb and other options. And for me, I just chose to get out of it. Okay, where do I go next? Sorry for this little tangent, um, but I hope you guys get what I mean. And hopefully you find healthy ways to either help those around you, help yourself, or make your own little world where you are happy and safe and you don't have to live in fear. Because oftentimes, those around us try to control us. Because that is something oddly weird with humans. They love trying to control others. Even though it may not even affect their lives, they have an obsession with how others live their lives. Ah, what a beauty. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I think we have to go on that side. <laughs> I think way over there by those hills. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it back by night time, but this sure is beautiful. I'm the only one here. Wow. So, tranquil, tranquility, very zen. The zen life. Okay, here is more of the path. Let's see if all of the sun. for my phone. I just used my hand. Oh, wow. These gardens are fantastic. I wonder if they're like perfectly cut to be this formation or does it grow naturally? Like those, specifically those like bonsai looking trees like, oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Wow. I can't believe there's no other humans appreciating this beauty. Like, hello? How am I the only person here? Well, I guess you guys are here with me. <laughs> um, this is in Hakone, and it was the... Oh gosh, I don't remember where we are. It's a park next to a pirate ship. Next to, oh, that looks like an important building. <laughs> we'll go find the information for you guys. Lakeside Road. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it when the sun paints the sky with the clouds and the colors. Oh, look at those clouds. Wow. <laughs> Wait, why are they form so cool? It's like a perfect pattern. Do you see that? Oh, little lines. 
beautiful. Ooh, okay. Here's a building that definitely has information. So we could find out where we are. Onshi, Onshi Park. Onshi. Ta da! Ooh, it looks so clean. <laughs> oh, there's people in there. Wow. It's open, but I'm a little scared to go inside, being the only one. Oh, there's trash here. Pick that up. Oh, so beautiful. Wow, very symmetrical. Wow. The Pavilion of Information. Okay, the sun is setting, so we need to get out of here. I really don't want to be hiking back in the dark, so... Peace out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if it will end here. Maybe I'll document my journeys back to the hostel. Hmm. But take this time to like the video regardless, and comment something down below. What's your thoughts? Yeah, okay. I guess see you later, maybe, possibly. Peace. Okay, so apparently this is where Google Maps is telling me to go. <laughs> um, this doesn't really look much of a path, but I guess we'll just go this way. And this is how I go back to my hostel. Um, what are those screeches? This does not look right. Are we sure about this? The staircase is this way. This doesn't look like a path. I'm gonna be very real right here. Um, it's through here. Um, okay. Okay, I don't think that was where I'm supposed to go. Stairway. 200 meters. Oh. Does it mean this way? Oh, the sun is setting. I'm not making it back. Oh, so beautiful though. Can we, uh, it's fine. Can we down this way? Oh. They should really put the sign somewhere else. Wait, it's closed? Keep out. Wait, this is the way I'm supposed to leave. You're telling me I have to backtrack the entire route I came? No. Oh, I'm not making it back at. Oh no. Well, guys, it looks like we'll be hiking in the dark. My, I might as well just go watch the sunset since it's gonna be dark regardless. I guess we could just enjoy the sunset. <laughs> Look at it, beautiful. Take one of those like pano shots and then bam. Okay, we found another map. So that was probably a closed sign. Um, so that's where we tried to go and we tried to cross the bridge. So we're gonna go right down the main street, it looks like, and then go up there. 
There is a bus though. Should I take the bus or continue walking? Decisions. Walking would be more adventurous though. Let's go find out. Goodbye sunset. Goodbye trees. Goodbye pirate ship in the distance. Goodbye birds. Ooh, what are these? Hmm. Off to continue our adventure. Okay, this looks like the way I need to be going. I don't know if it's the right way, but like just by the trees, I feel like I'm making the right moves. Feels like I'm going to like a different realm. Like look at them, and then we got a nice little stone path. Crazy, just for me too. Those could be bamboos. Is that a bamboo forest? Wow, okay, the overexposure is a little insane though. How do we drop it down? Okay, this is what it kind of looks like in real life now. I'm just using my phone to record, but that's, yeah, the shadows are correct. So it's a little, a little spooky, but also a vibe. Ooh, more stairs. I'm gonna have to pay attention so I don't fall. Um, in Japan, you have to walk on the left side. So all the people that are coming up walk on the right side. That's something that's the opposite of America. So if you ever come to Japan, remember that everything is in reverse. It's like the upside down. Even the cars. I think the steering wheels on yeah the steering wheels on the other side, which is pretty cool. Okay, I see cars down there. Oh, we're making moves. Nice. Okay, it may be getting dark soon, but I could survive now. We have Japan vending machines that have everything you need to survive. And everything's like a dollar. Um, but like, look at all this delicious ice cream. Vanilla with luxury macadamia, raisin butter crunch, vanilla, tiramisu, green tea, cookies and cream, caramel, grape which is gross blueberry cheesecake i think this is like birthday cake flavored soda vanilla float sherbet chocolate mints and milk with azuki in monica and then chocolate nuts and vanilla in monica i, I feel like you need to try every single one you could get hot coffees hot soup bean soup corn soup lemonade hot lemonade um lattes yeah all from a vending machine green teas water apple juice so much so much for a dollar and it takes apple pay <laughs> technology and there's a bathroom <laughs> but let's let's continue on this journey to get back mm-hmm <laughs> 